Hello, great exercise today. This exercise is for accountants, bookkeepers, CPAs, MBA students, executive MBA students, anyone that needs to figure out what the fiscal quarter is based on some date, order date, invoice date. And from my research, approximately 40% of companies in the U.S. have a fiscal year that doesn't match the calendar year. So as an example of one of those is Microsoft. I found this and it says fourth quarter results for the fiscal year 2018 for Microsoft. My point is it's July 19th, 2018. So if that's the fourth quarter, that would have been April, May, and June was the fourth quarter, which tells me their fiscal year starts in July. I believe that Apple starts in October as an example also. So let me show you how to do this. The first one's real easy. If the calendar year and the fiscal year are the same, that's an easier function than if the calendar year and the fiscal year are different. So I'm going to assume that they're the same in this first exercise, just so you know how to do this. So there's three functions we need to use today. One of them is the month function. All it does is take a date and determines what month it is. So I should get the number two. If I pull that down, auto fill it down, I should get four because it's the fourth month. Seven, I'm looking in column B by the way. One more time, 11. There's your month function right there. The other function now we need to mix with it is round up. So anything with month one, two, or three should be quarter one. Month four, five, and six should be quarter two. So I'm going to use the round up function. The round up function has two arguments. I'm going to round up the month in cell B2. And I want to round it up three because there's three months and a quarter. Comma. Here's my second argument on the round up function. How many digits? The answer is zero. Perfect. The number one. So basically I took the number two because that's the second month. Two divided by three is 0 0.667. Round it up, zero decimals, that would be one. So I should get four. Four divided by three is 1.333. Round it up, zero decimals is two. Perfect. Seven divided by three is 2.333. Three, so that's working. So that is calendar year, fiscal year are identical. That one's the easy one. So there's that function. Now, the tricky part, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to show you how to do this. And I made this nice little table. The tricky part, let's assume that the calendar year obviously is January, but the fiscal year starts in July. So I made this little table over here that I haven't filled in yet. For I, I filled in some of it. I put in January, April, July, and October. And so this is really easy. To use the choose function, because that's what I have to do now, equals choose. This is an unusual function. It's got index number two, comma. I'm going to put in three automobile companies, Ford, GM, Kia. Choose two means after I put in the number two, start looking at what else I typed and find the second item. So I should get GM here. And I do. If I do choose one, I should get Ford. Therefore, choose three says return Kia. So there's the choose function. So the month of July, if that's the first month of the fiscal year, July, August, and September is quarter one. So here's the easiest way to do this, and that's why I made this over here. I'm going to go to July, and I call this the matching game, July. And I literally put in January and auto filled across here. July, July, one, tab, one, tab, one. Those are all quarter one. 
quarter two, quarter two, quarter two. Wrap back around, but stay on the same line. Three, 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 four, four, four. So now we can go figure this out. So that should be the 18th, 218. Should be quarter three. Let's see if it works. Equals choose month, because I don't want to type in the number two, comma, you ready? Three, comma, three, comma, three, comma, four. That's it. You got to type in those 12 numbers with commas in between them. It's exactly what I put in down here in row number five. 218 is the third quarter if your fiscal year is the month of July. I'm going to just test a few of them, not all of them. The last one I have down in row 13 is the month of April, April 16th, and it says it's quarter four. That is correct. So I'm going to just do this one more time real quick. Two notes before I do this. This spreadsheet that I have running right now, if you open up my, if you look on my YouTube page or you see this in LinkedIn, there is the website. You can download this file and I have a bunch of information about how Roundup works, how Choose works. Also, on Tuesday, January 29th, is my Snagit webinar for 30 minutes. It's a free webinar. Feel free to sign up. Let me get back to Excel. <clears throat> One more time in Excel. I'm going to highlight these. Let's change this a little bit. Let's do it again. So here we go. If October starts your fiscal year, matching game, October, October. One, tab, one, tab, one. Wrap back around, stay on the same row, two, two, two. What I'm doing right now is actually not required. I'm doing this for training reasons to show you where I'm coming up with this. So our fiscal year now starts in October, so equals choose month B2 comma, here we go, two comma two comma. So if the fiscal year starts in October, 218 is actually the second quarter, and that's correct. See so if this is right, pull it down just a little bit. It is working, look right there. I got the number one for November 3rd, 2019. That is cell B5. There you go. So real quick on this one, the matching game one more time, one, one, one. So if, if by chance something started in November, I don't know if fiscal year started in November, you match up over here, one, one, wrap around, same line, one, it'd be just like this. I don't know if that actually happens or not, but there you go. I appreciate your time. I know this went a little long, but we learned choose, month function, round up, so remember, you can get by with Roundup and the month function if the calendar and the fiscal are the same. But if they're not, choose function. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel and have a wonderful week. Thank you.